Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week so far. Um, we got passing out at work again, or part two, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't seen part one, go watch that. Uh, make sure you sub, like, comment, all that good, fun stuff. But a little summary, if you haven't seen the first one, I was working at Texas Roadhouse at the time, right? And I showed up to work, hadn't eaten or drinking anything. I'd just woken up and, like, had to run to work. You know what I mean? Like, drive there, get there quick. Got there, had, it was back when you had to wear a mask, so it was restricting the breathing as well. And then, I don't know, I got too hot, blacked out, uh, got a concussion, woke up in the back of an ambulance. And I did I wasn't actually going to the doctor or anything like that or hospital. I wouldn't take an ambulance for a concussion, you know what I mean? They just, it was a precaution thing because I wasn't waking up. Um, so anyways, <laughs> with that being said, the second one was like six seven months later at the time i'm working at burlington because the girl i used to date uh worked there too and i wanted to be around her as much as possible right so i was working at the same place and i would either be cash register right or you know the security tags on shoes i'd be in the back for four to six hours just snapping those little fuckers together right and that was boring as shit. So what would I do? As long as I wasn't cash register, you know, I'd get high as a motherfucker. I'd be back there, you know, ripping the pen, ripping the nicotine, just feeling great. You know, like I was working, but I also felt like I was like getting high and hanging out half the time, you know, and I could also listen to music. So it all worked out right. Usually at the time, though, I remember um, that was when COVID was going on and I ended up catching it. Right. And so did uh so did the girl I was dating. I don't remember if I gave it to her or if she gave it to me, but we both ended up getting it, right? So um so I really was just stuck at home getting baked and waiting it out, right? I couldn't even hang out with her. And then um there was it got to that point where it'd been two weeks but I didn't feel right. You know what I mean? I did not feel a hundred percent like myself. I was like, nah, I still feel like not good and they put me on the schedule and I called them and I was like, Hey, you know, I don't mean to mess up scheduling but i'm not feeling a hundred percent and if i can still give it to someone that's not good right but i also kept testing negative so they were like just come in you know what i mean so i was like okay again i don't drink a ton of water but while i had covid i drank more than usual right so i don't know if i just didn't have any this day and that's what caused it or if i was like oh i've had so much water recently i don't need any and i was actually dehydrated but i showed up to work right had uh you could wear pretty much anything just no like logos like this right but if this was all solid colored like this i could wear it right like it doesn't matter what you wear as long as it doesn't have any logos so i show up there in a hoodie in the pants you know what i mean not short sleeve like i wore i was bundled up you know what i mean like just hanging out and i start feeling sick after like five minutes right and instead of uh, being in the back ordering cash register, I was taking carts from the back and like stocking the shelves. You know what I mean? So I was doing that. And I only got through one thing, one cart full, right? And as I'm walking back into the back, I start getting so hot, like, like, uh, like how I felt the time I passed out, right? Like I got really hot and thought I needed water. So I felt that coming on and I was like, oh no, I need to like get somewhere safe or at least colder. You know what I mean? So I go straight to the back, all the way to the back corner where no one can see me. You know what I mean? Because it's a big little warehouse back there and there's boxes everywhere, right? So I sat in between two uh, big ass boxes to my left and my right. There's a little space in the middle. I just sat right in there and just put my hands uh, or my head in my hands, just trying to breathe and all I wanted to do really was not pass out. I was like, I don't care about, you know, being at work, not feeling good. I'll be fine. And however long I can just keep working. Right. And I'll be good. That's not what ended up happening. Right. I stand up to try to breathe. And cause I just kept getting hotter. No matter what I did, I was just getting hotter and hotter. Right. So I take off my hoodie. Right. That didn't do shit. I started sweating bad. Right. And I know this is not the greatest. And I was in like in a workplace. So it's especially not good but no one saw me. So it's fine, right? I took off my shirt. I was so hot. I was dying, man. I took off my whole shirt. So now I'm shirtless with some fucking work pants on and I'm sitting in between two boxes, sweating my ass off. I feel like I'm going to die, dude. Like actually I was sitting there like, oh my God, I feel awful. Right. And I'm like, okay, let me like, I'm not going to take off my pants. Let me really try to stand up here and be okay. Right. I stand up and I was so dizzy. I had to, I had to sit down immediately. I was like, oh no, it's going to happen again. Or I'm going to pass out and they're going to find me. That's what I was worried about. Right. So I was like, at least let me 
walk towards more of the front of the back. So at least if I do pass out, the first person or the next person to come in will see me. You know what I mean? Had my shirt off still and it happened. I took like two steps and I started feeling so weak. I dropped to my left knee. You know, I was trying to like take a knee like in football, you know, when you're tired and they're like, take a knee. You know, I did that. I go to take a knee. Boom. Out. Just completely out. Don't remember shit. Right. Woke up in the back of an office. Right. Feeling like shit, dude. And the lady was like, hey, um, you passed out a little bit. Are you OK? And I was like, what do you mean a little bit? And she's like, well, you weren't laying down. You know what I mean? You were just hunched over with your head down. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I think I, you know, I know I keep getting negative on this COVID test, but it really feels like I still got something. And she's like, okay, how about we sit in the back and you eat something, drink something? You know, they were being really nice. They didn't have to be this nice, you know, but they were. They were like, you know, why don't you sit there and eat some like cheese? Let's have water, see how you feel. You know what I mean? So I start doing that, right? I eat it like a couple cheeses. I'm drinking water, right? Dude, it hit me again. This just wave of heat and feeling like shit. You know what I mean? So I put my head down again on my, the fucking table, right? And just fell asleep, I guess, because the lady came back in and she's like, Trent, are you okay? Are you okay? And I looked up at her and she, the look she gave back to me made me think I was for real dying. Because she gave me like a, hor not horrified, like, <gasps> but like a look that was not good. She looked at me like, like... Like, are you, like, if someone else was there, it was like, are, are you seeing this? You know, like, she looked at me, like, concerned, you know what I mean? She's like, you look really pale, like, all white, like, you look really pale. And I was like, can I just, can I please leave? Like, please? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, just go home, you know what I mean? If you feel better, come back at any point today or tomorrow, but just go home and sleep, right? So I'm like, thank you, thank you so much, right? I'm walking out. I get to the parking lot and it hits me again. I'm like, no fucking way. I'm going to pass out outside of the work thing, outside of the store. So I go to my car, right? This car. And I sat here and it's literally a two and a half, three minute drive. One stoplight or no, two stoplights to my house. Right. And I put my head down and laid here for probably 20, 25 minutes until I even felt OK enough to drive. So I don't know what caused it. It could have been the, the COVID shit that did it, but it also could have been me being dehydrated and not eating. But I remember eating beforehand. So I'm not sure what the fuck it was or why I felt like that, but I have yet to feel like that since. Um, the closest was when I was at that water park and I thought I was going to pass out from anxiety, though, not from being dehydrated or whatever it was. So I'm not sure, to be honest, but I fucking blacked out and it was not fun, dude. I... I just, it, it was scaring the shit out of me. You know what I mean? Like I've taken a lot of drugs and I've done, uh, I've gone to a lot of parties and gotten drunk a lot and I've done all these things and I've yet to have a feeling like where I'm really genuinely concerned I'm dying. You know what I mean? But when I, when I was like laying in that back room after she said I was just hunched down when I had no recollection of it, I was like, this is not good, dude. Like this is fucked <laughs> But what are you going to do, right? I'm okay now. Uh, so what are you going to fucking do? But thanks for watching. Um, hope everyone has a good day. Good rest of your week, of course. Make sure you vote. I got a little uh, poll thing about what video you want the next day. And I'm going to do that every day, right? And I'm just going to switch up the options or keep two the same. Put a new one in, you know what I mean? Until I get all my stories out, you know? But we have a shit ton of them, so... You know, help me do that and sub, share, comment that it all means a lot. You know what I mean? <sighs> all right. It's getting hot in this car, so I'm going to go. Uh, be safe. Hope you can get high and peace out.